Alright everybody, welcome back to Mass Effect. So what we're gonna do is tally. Go to planet Haystrom in the Geth controlled Dolan system. Oh now we can have 30 probes. Or 60, I mean. Oh yeah. Okay. We haven't discovered everything in the Hourglass Nebula yet. Oh wait, there's because there's other things. Okay. Um, let's see. Far Rim, that's right. There's so much stuff going on. Okay, so there's Tally. Let's go around and this does nothing, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, okay. And Gotha. A dwarf planet, Gotha has a pressure cooker atmosphere that brings its surface temperature to a scorching level. Carbon dioxide and ethane are plentiful in the planet's hazy atmosphere. There's been some speculation in the mining community about whether all the all of the precious metals were mined by the Corians before they fled the system some three centuries ago. Rumors abound that anyone who could brave the geth in the system could find loads of naturally occurring diamond on Gotha, or Gotha, however. But this is likely just a starship legend. Travel advisory. Gotha is in Geth space. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Well, we're gonna scan it, and it's rich. Probe launched. So pretty soon. Probe away. Might have to actually just stick, go and start, um... Going to planets and stuff and just doing this for a little bit. Because we're running low. On a lot of stuff. Probe away. Probe. You can now for the Advanced Training Research Project. Come on, there we go. Element Zero. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. DM six two two. 
to say it still says moderate. Probably depleted. Ooh, ooh, but not of that element zero. Probe launched. Now it's depleted. It's not too many. Ah, oh, we went through it. So we just have the one. Yeah, we just have this one left. Kirum. Oh, we have the other one too with Tally on it. Once the Starship Refueling Station for the Corians, Kirum has expanded under Geth rule. Thousands of orbital planets surround the planet in its many moons. Refining helium into helium-3, a vast Geth fleet comes and goes between Cherum and, House and Hastrum, preventing all but the most stealthy of spy drones from discovering any information about it. Current estimates place the Geth fleet numbers between 5,000 and 10,000 ships with unknown levels of armament. Travel advisory. Most intelligence estimates that estimates state that approaching Karum is tantamount to suicide. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Population 250,000 to 500,000 platforms. Colony occupied 1895 CE. Largest station is Hell's Hive Dina Station. And moderates. Probe launched. Probe launched. So there's usually some good stuff Launching at the top. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Pro. Say so yeah, iridium is really needed as well. Probe launched. Oops, depleted. Oh, still a little bit. Probe away. And lastly, Hastrum. Hastrum, formerly a Corian colony, Hastrum was established to observe the phenomena on Dolan, the system's parent star. Dolan appeared to be unstable with a highly possible possibility of erupting permanent, prematurely into a red giant. Hastrum was lost to the Geth in 1896 CE. Soon after, all communication from the planet and its attendant space station ceased. The Geth have shown no signs of threat treating Dolan as a threat over the past three centuries other than establishing several space stations near it. Dolan's magnetic eruptions and solar output overwhelm most communications near it, and it is unclear how the Geth have compensated. Today, spy probe scans indicate extensive orbital construction around Hastrum housing thousands of geth platforms and an unknown number of geth software mines. It is not known how many geth are on the planet's surface. Spy probes face interference from Dolan, making remote scanning difficult. Resource estimates based on geth mining, refining, and fabricating practices suggest that the planet has at least 20 more years of use before it is exhausted. Intelligence experts speculate that the geth have not exploited all of their resources because they wish to keep some in reserve for repairs. Travel advisory. Hastrum is, is a guest stronghold. 
Military spy drones using cutting edge stealth technology are the only vehicles that have returned unharmed from Geth space. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Let's land. Oh yeah, that's right. I will probably get Rex at some point because um, we're going to be going to Tachanka where that's his home world and that's where he was last known to be. So we won't be getting Liara and we won't be getting Ashley, I guess. Uh, let's take Thane and Samara, I guess, because she's new. And locations. Before the Geth Revolt 300 years ago, the Quarians colonized Hastrum to study the mysterious instability of its sun, which threatened premature eruption into a red giant. As a scientific outpost of minimal military value, Hastrum was ill-equipped to repel Geth forces during the insurrection and fell quickly under their control. Captured Geth planetary survey data indicates that despite sustaining damage during the war, Hastrum's architecture remains as it was 300 years ago, preserving a Quarian architectural style that no longer exists anywhere else in the galaxy. Because Hastrum's sun has overwhelmed the planet's protective magnetosphere, humans foolhardy enough to venture into Geth-controlled Hastrum must exercise extreme caution. Minutes of radiation exposure will overload shields, and hours of exposure will kill. Furthermore, solar output renders surface-to-orbit communication nearly impossible. Yeah. Search through the ruins. Uh -huh. do, oh, do we have to stay out of the sun? That's crazy. My shields are overheated. We should keep out of the light. Yeah, I know. Uh, they don't need to worry about the sun. Unless to worry.
assume they put this over here because there's something under it. No. I get it so I can do a shockwave like at their feet or something. That iridium. I guess we're not technically in sunlight here. C Tempest submachine gun acquired. The following squad members are now able to use this weapon. Hmm. Use some machine gun, huh? This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Can we provide assistance? Status of your team. How many of you are left? We were a small squad, dozen Marines plus the science team. We're down to half strength now. Made the synthetic bastards pay for it, though. What brought you this deep into Geth controlled space? You're asking the wrong person, Shepard. I just point and shoot. Something about the sun. It's going bad faster than it should. Some kind of energy problem. 
Any idea where the Geth came from? One of their patrol ships found us. Dropships started raining Geth down on our heads before we could get off world. Systems under Geth control. We knew they made planetary sweeps periodically. And we hoped going low emissions would hide us. How are you holding up? We can be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all to hell. We're bunkered down at base camp across the valley. I left Talizora at a secure shelter that doubled back to all the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep them off you. You've got confirmation that the Geth haven't reached Tally yet? Affirmative. Left my best men with her. When you get here, you can talk to her on the comm. Every Marine on this rock is sworn to protect Talizora. As long as one of us is still drawing air, she'll be safe. You're gonna throw your life away for research? Negative. I'm gonna give my life for the migrant fleet, all the difference in the world. I'm no tech expert, Shepard, or Marine. They tell me to shoot. I shoot. They said to protect Tally and the data. You get them out safe. I've done my job. Hold position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait! Watch your ass! We got a dropship coming in! Sure, we could just go around that, but all right. Shepard, I have scanned the area and located the demolition charge the Quarry Commander mentioned. Put it on my radar. Oh, why do I have a shotgun? So that's the blocked doorway. The soldier on the radio mentioned mining charges. We should use those to clear the rubble. more ammo so Shepard, 
once used a mining laser to clear some rubble back on Therum. Maybe I can do something similar with demolition charges. This is like, um, if you ever seen the Chronicles of Riddick, there's a planet where the surface is so hot during the day that you would literally just like burn to death or whatever like immediately kind of reminds me of that you need them There's two up there. Ah, uh, run, guys. Ah! 
<laughs> this should come in handy. This architecture is quarried. It is rare to see such buildings today. What could draw the Quarians this far into Geth space? Our ancestors walked these halls with uncovered heads. The sun must have been normal back then. So much space, walls of stone. It's amazing. I wish my friends could see it. I wish Shepard were here. Tali's order to base camp. Come in base camp. Hold on, Tally, I got a safe. Oh, shoot. Well, I fucked that up. Hello? Is anyone there? Tally, it's Shepard. I'm sorry, everyone here is dead. Any survivors must have fallen back. We knew this mission was high risk. Damn it. And what are you doing here, Shepard? We're in the middle of Geth space. I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Call Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got the data I needed and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of Geth outside. What's this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer Geth shooting at us. Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of Marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the Geth outside. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth and the console is damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please do what you can to keep Rieger alive. Okay. That's the third thing that I've messed up on. They've seen us. Neutralized one. Killed one. Clean kill. Oh, is that a big one?
so many of these damn drones. I do like that at least when you pick up one clip it gives you all of your ammo. That's pretty nice. That one right there. Shit. from all those. I saw something else. Observatory is reinforced. Even the Geth will need time to get through it. <laughs> and it's hard to hack a door when someone's firing rockets at you. The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. It huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer. One of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. The Geth might get me, but I'm not gonna die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. <laughs> what can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You could wreak some havoc from there. None of my men made it past the Geth. Middle's got cover, the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. Any ideas on how to deal with the Colossus? Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. But the repair protocol blows that plan to hell. You try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. So whatever we do, has to scrap that bastard fast. 
Probably means getting up close, past that cover. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy, maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. We don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down! I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. <clears throat> All right, Shepard. We'll do it your way. Hit them for me. Kill us alive. Enemies ahead. I don't know what that means. One person hits you, then you just come out of cover for some reason.
me finish this download. Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. A lot of Quarians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. I didn't ask what some Admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's sun is far too young for this to be natural. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Well, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty board and let them know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Okay. Recruited Tally Zora for the team. Though loyal to Shepard, Tally Zora's antagonism towards Cerberus necessitates observa observation. Necessitates observation. Also sending recon units to examine Geth activities in case activities on Haystrom provoke action. Got the Tempest submachine gun. We could have got a lot more credits if I didn't fuck up the other two things. The Quarian. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Talizor. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet. But I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Tally Zora the necessary security clearance to access our systems. Please do. I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. I don't think Tally likes that. See, assault rifle and heavy pistol, neither of which I use. And honestly, most of the team uses submachine guns, so.
The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Uh, okay, we're we are on the place where the debriefing room is. Wasn't that the room we were just in? Yeah. Passing the elusive man through, Commander. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. Oh shit, are we doing that right now? <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have talked to him. I'm guessing this is her old look. That's the new one. She have she has a combat drone. We'll take her. And Morden. Corian engineer Tally is operating at peak efficiency, increasing the duration of her powers, modest cybernetics, and immuno enhancers increase her health. Health plus 20, weapon plus 18, power duration plus 25, or Corian mechanic. Tally's expertise in engineering firearms of all kinds increase her weapon damage, modest cybernetics, and immuno enhancers increase her health. Health 20, weapon damage. We'll do mechanic. Combat drone. Okay, we have attack drone. You have upgraded the combat drone, so it's electric shock damages, target health, armor, and biotic barriers. Okay. Explosive drone. Your combat drone is rigged to explode when destroyed, pulsing energy that inflicts high damage on all nearby enemies. I don't know how strong the drone is. Let's do explosive. Then we have one more AI hacking. Then we can do Solarian Scientist finally. Solarian genius. Morton's technical breakthroughs further increase the strength of his shields. Solarian savant. Morton's study of ballistics, physics, and shock trauma increases weapon damage. So 25, 25, 18, 
So she has shotgun and hand cannon. Okay, so she uses the pistol. Might need to start upgrading that then. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. I've never seen a ship like this before. Somewhat resembles an insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to upload. Link with collector data banks. Marking location to your hard suit computer. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Ooh. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. Perhaps the missing colonists are there, if they're still alive. Same containers as on Horizon, only empty. It must have been horrible, trapped in these pods, helpless, completely at the mercy of the collectors. here why would the collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around test subjects from control group discarded after experiment was over there are worse things than death like being a test subject for twisted aliens this was wrong inhumane even if collectors needed to kill for experiments could have ended lives painlessly I know you're right but it doesn't make me feel any better. Gross. That's a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I 
I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta cluster, but there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes, reduced heterochromatin structure, elimination of superfluous junk sequences. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. No species should have to suffer through that. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Advanced weapon training, choose specialization. Uh, I guess Claymore Heavy Shotgun? Since we don't use the Assault Rifle or the Sniper Rifle. Only one shot at a time. God. Element zero. Look on the ceiling. More of those strange parts. Whoa. Hundreds at least. Wonder how many are full. Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Take it. Okay. Hopefully not from melee damage. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked E to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. Hmm. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Ah, uh, that can't be good. All right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap.
destroyed any systems. Then you'd better get it done fast, Dee Dee. We've got incoming hostiles. Hostile spotted. I love it. He stood up, never did his attack, and then just got killed. I really don't get why they do that with the power sometimes. Or well, not sometimes, it's almost, I want to say a third of the time they try to use the power. He just steps up out of cover and just stands there. Doesn't do anything. It's pissing me off because it's happening a lot. to attack that Scion thing. Just the 
nothing to help. regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found the Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. Seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're out. Behavior within norms for Cerberus, not unexpected. Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. Ah, shit.
carousels. Again, he goes out of cover, I press A to get back in cover, and he jumps over the cover. Or X. This is why I'm so glad I'm games have moved away room. from this cover system. There's so much fun of it. I do any of my powers. Target for the view. Problematic. Six, four. I have successfully
successfully opened a door on the opposite wall. I will keep it open as long as I can. Down there. That's where we came in. Getting close to the end. Can't just jump down there? We can use this. things. Vital intel regarding collectors and Omega 4 relay. With Shepard's escape, Harbinger knows our true capabilities and will have to adopt new tactics. We'll have to be careful, as Harbinger's information network may rival Cerberus or Shadow Brokers. 
also appears impossible to block his ability to possess minions. Edie's work was exceptional, however, proving proving yeah, however, proving value of shackled AI. Got a new shotgun. Ghost ship. That is not a good movie, I'll tell you what. It's got some good actors in it, but it's not a good movie. Call coming in from the elusive man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him, too. Shepard. Looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the collector homeworld. And you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it, but we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie. Tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector data banks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. 
I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That's bright. Very bright. That can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Okay, definitely keep building the team since we don't have them all yet. How did we get Renegade? I don't get it. AP heavy pistol? Fifteen thousand. We have a hundred and one. What are the assault rifles? No, it's five thousand. We only have eighteen thousand iridium. Damn, we are really low on iridium. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Alright, so what should we go with? Uh, let's see. We could do more slam, the last shockwave. Send your ammo. Let's do incendiary ammo. Inferno ammo. An explosive charge spreads the ammunition's payload on impact, potentially igniting the target and all nearby enemies. Fire damage is 60% of weapon damage over 3 seconds. Burn rate is 3 meters. Squad incendiary ammo. Your entire squad gains the effect of your incendiaries. Allowing you to spread pain and panic in a very literal crossfire. I like that. I'm gonna talk to Tally. 
and Samara. Wow, you are too small from Moreland. I am sorry, mate, my mate. I leave you for Krogan because you are not endowed as good for your species. Do you fear those words? Moreland's famous shop sells many enhancements online that are not restricted by Citadel trading regulations. Whether you require hormone augmentation, cybernetic enhancements, or genetic or genobiotic xenografting, Moreland has many things you will be pleased with. All species and gender order online from Moreland's famous extranet site, hotlinked from this message. Product availability varies by local trade regulations. All element zero products require shipping surcharge. No shipping to Omega. Krogan repro reproductive organs not available. Other restrictions may apply. Is this a freaking spam? Oh shit. Therapy from Olar Han Shepard. They say you're alive, that you cheated death, that sending you with this isn't just a pointless exercise as part of my therapy. They say a lot of things. I'm still alive. She still isn't. I hear you killed Benezia. Nicely done. Another woman I helped kill. If my information did any good. They want me to thank you. The Rachni would have killed us all had you not shown up. It would have been right. Why me and not her? Why did you show up then and not before? They think that they can fix me, but maybe you are not really back. Maybe I died. Maybe I didn't close that door in time. Maybe I held it open to give her a chance, and the rack and I ripped my suit open and I died of exposure there on peak 15. Maybe I'm a martyr, and this is an ugly hallucination before a glorious afterlife. But if I'm not, then thank you. Han Olar. Transfer request approved. From Admiral D. Board Migrant Fleet, Commander Shepard. Per Talizora Vas Nima's request included with her data delivery from Hastrum, the Admiralty Board has approved her transfer to your command. She has been informed that additional duties to the migrant fleet may still be necessary on occasion, but has been given extended leeway to determine when her mission with you is considered complete. This choice was hers, but your role as de facto captain during her pilgrimage may have caused her to be more susceptible to your request. The Admiralty Board trusts that you will treat your new crew member with the respect due to an honored member of, our, of the fleet. Should any harm come to her due neg to negligence on your part, this board will take severe and appropriate action. Admiral Rolzora, Margaret Fleet, Admiralty Board. Still alive from Detective Anaya. Greetings, Commander. I'm not completely sure this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse Mercs have gotten real quiet around here, and my superiors have backed off, too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully the next time I meet a Justice Seer, or Justicar, I can give the, her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If I find any more data on their, her target, I'll pass it along. Thanks, Detective Anaya, Ilium Law Enforcement. Okay, so let's go see Tally and Samara. Tally is in engineering. We'll see Samara first. And if we have time after talking to those two, um, we'll talk to Joker as well, because we haven't talked to him in a while. you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife. Oh. Which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? 
Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Okay. The Asari seem to have family issues. Uh, yeah. First game and the second, it seems. Oh, that's cool.
grunt. Zed, who we haven't taken with us once. Oh, here she is. Shepard, I've got a problem and I may need your help. But I need to ask you something first. I need to know if I can trust you. Some of this might involve fleet security. Cerberus cannot be involved. You have my word. If necessary, I'll contact the elusive man to make sure he stays out. Don't bother. He just lied to you. Hearing it from you is enough. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. Damn, that sucks. Planets and locations. The Migrant Fleet. The Flotilla or the Migrant Fleet is a fleet of roughly 50,000 starships that houses over 17 million Quarians, the largest collection of star-faring vessels in the galaxy. The fleet is so large it may take days for all the ships to pass through a mass relay. The ships are constantly repaired, replaced, and upgraded to comfortably house as many Quarians as possible. Typically, ships specialize in roles for the fleet. From the enormous agricultural live ships to the shielded lab ships 
to the repurposed freighters known as home ships that house Korean children. Young parents and educators employed Korean typically live in the ship they work on, since commuting from ship to ship ties up resources with unnecessary docking procedures. Even within the flotilla, Koreans on most ships will remain encased in their protective suits. Rarely Koreans will meet on clean ships for specific purposes such as medical services or services or reproduction. When this occurs, they remove their suits knowing full well that it is likely they will spend a few days having allergic reactions or getting over infections as their weakened immune systems compensate for each other's presence. More credits? Aliens Council Races. Must have been the top one. Asari. Oh, Ardit Yakshi. Okay. Ardit Yakshi, demon of the night winds, are Asari suffering from a genetic disorder preventing conventional melding of nervous systems during mating. Instead, Ardit Yakshi electrochemically ravage their partner's nervous system in extreme cases, leaving victims as veg vegetative invalids or corpses. Asari psychologists regard this incapacity for a mental fusion as preventing the development of empathy, leading to psycho psychopathy. There is no known cure. The disorder generally begins in infancy, reaching full patho pathology during maiden adolescence sexual development. While seductive sexually driven as other Asari, Ardent Yakshi are congenitally sterile. Ancient Asari mythology held Ardent Yakshi are as gods of destruction, depicting them as villains of countless legends and as the anti-heroes of numerous Asari epics. Contrary to popular belief, Ardent Yakshi are neither extremely rare, around 1% of Asari dwell on the AY spectrum, nor are they all murderers. Most cultivate and discard countless exploitative or abusive relationships during their legally marginal lives. Despite rumors of Ardent Yakshi syndicates, by nature Ardent Yakshi are capable of long-term cooperation. As a disproportionately wealthy species, Asari employ their economic reach and media ownership of high, to hide the AY pathology from the galactic community, placing most ardent, most ardent Yakshi in monitored work programs or seclusion. Only the most aggressive cases are sentenced to sanitaria in prisons or to the ex execution lists of justicars. So we have tallies and Samara. Okay. Let's talk to Joker. Since we've gotten a lot of people and haven't talked to him yet, everybody else I'm guessing doesn't won't have anything until we've completed their companion or their loyalty mission, I should say. No messages for you, Commander. Yeah, that's right. So the Collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the Keepers on the Citadel were once something different. Yeah. Commander. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a... What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. I assume everything is going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pow. I win. <laughs> Joker. <laughs> right, right, no hard feelings. Good game. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right, so that's it for Joker. 
That's funny he only had something to say about Tally. And Morden. It's weird. So if we look at the team status, we only have one more. And my guess is that it's Erdnot Rex. If we look at our journal. We have to go to Tchanka, which is where he was last seen. Bolar. I don't know where the hell we are. Now, we would have to go over here, Krogan DMZ, for Tachanka. Help Grunt and help Morden. I'm wondering, should we do that first and see if we can get Rex? Or should we do tallies first, because I'm not sure, you know, how important it is to get certain things done. You know, at certain times. It's for Jack. Hmm. Hard to say. But we'll go ahead and save it here. Been playing for 22, now 24 hours. And I'm loving every minute of it. So, hope you guys are too. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.